We discussed the symptoms of sleep apnea, but there are some you know, risk factors as well. The disorder can impact both yes. children and adults, as well as both men and women. But as Tiffany Huertas reports, there are certain characteristics that can increase a person's risk for sleep apnea. When it comes to sleep apnea, weight and age are the biggest risk factors. Men older than 40 and women over 50 have a higher risk for the disorder. Being a smoker can also leave you vulnerable, but those are not the only risk factors. More fatty tissue in the neck means more of a chance the airway will be blocked while sleeping. A large neck size for men is considered more than 17 inches, more than 16 inches for women. Exercise can help when it comes to sleep apnea, but for those who still have concerns, Bring up how you're sleeping. It's a question we're missing um, in the office visit, and I think we should be talking about sleep more because it's so connected to how the rest of your day goes and your other health conditions. A CPAP or BiPAP machine can help keep the airway open, treating sleep apnea and leading to a good night's rest. Physician assistant Amanda Brosnan says the treatment doesn't happen just over a couple of days or months. And often it is lifelong, but I say, you know, it's it's a lifesaver. It's saving your life and preventing other health conditions from getting worse. Brosnan says the machine runs smoothly and quietly. One of her patients, David Gonzalez, also learned a tip to using the mask more efficiently. If you put it on as soon as you start feeling sleepy, no, no problems at all. Research shows men have twice the risk of having the disorder. Sleep apnea can make conditions like heart disease and diabetes worse if it goes untreated. A sleep study can help with a diagnosis. Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News.